everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography. And we got another amazing question from one of our fellow viewers. And the question is, do stacking artifacts affect how linear fit operates similar to how they affect how background extraction operates? In other words, should you crop your image before performing linear fit or does it matter at all? And that is a great question. And I wanna answer that question by taking a data set and performing linear fit both ways. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's jump on in and perform linear fit by cropping before and performing it without cropping at all and see if we get a difference. Now to answer the question of does cropping before or after using linear fit affect how linear fit operates, we're gonna be experimenting using IC5070. And in fact, I have my monochrome IC5070 data right here. I have S2, O3, and HA. And this will work whether it's one shot color or monochrome. Um, all that we're really looking for is do stacking artifacts or bad edges affect how linear fit operates similar to how uh, background extraction is affected by stacking artifacts and bad edges. And I'm using my monochrome data here now because it's really easy to induce really bad edges, especially when you use the process star alignment. So what we wanna do here, let's start off by going to process all processes and let's come down to statistics. Let's get a benchmark or a baseline of what these images are. If we take a look at HA, we have a mean value of 248.379. If we go down to O3, we have a mean value of 110.492. And if we go to S2, we have a mean value of 62.045. So we have our benchmark that we can compare to. Now let's go ahead and go into process all processes and let's go to star alignment. What we're gonna do is take a reference image. In this case, I'm gonna use S2. I'm gonna go to this little uh, icon. I'm gonna select S2 from the list. And then on target images, I'm gonna go to add views and I'm gonna select HA and O3. And what that's gonna do is it's going to align HA and O3 to my S2 reference image. Let's go ahead and hit the circle. And now we have our registered images. So O3 and HA have now been aligned to S2. I'm gonna get rid of my original HA and O3 images Let's do a quick stretch on HA and O3, the registered versions. And when we take a look here, if we zoom all the way in, we have this bad edge at the top. Now this would heavily affect how um, background extraction would work because this is still part of the image. This is still within the realm of the image and it's going to take these pixels into account. And that's why it's important to make sure before you background extract your image, all bad edges, stacking artifacts, things like this are all cropped out. But the question is, does linear fit work the same way? When we take a look at HA, we can see the same thing off to the left. And at the top, we have the same thing. So we're gonna do two versions of this for this comparison. We're gonna do a non-cropped version and then we're gonna do a cropped version. Let's go ahead and clone HA. Let's name this version HA crop. We'll minimize and put off to the left. Let's name this one HA no crop. Minimize, put it off to the right. O3, let's clone. We'll name this version O3 crop. 
put it off to the left. And O3, no crop, and put it off to the right. And then of course we have S2, which is gonna be our reference image on both of these experiments. Now, we can say that we have identical images that we're gonna be working with, with both um, sets of comparison. One of them is gonna be cropped, the other one's gonna be uncropped. Let's start off with the no crop version or uncropped version. And what we're gonna do here, let's go to process all processes and let's come down to linear fit. We're gonna go ahead and select a reference image, which is gonna be S2. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply S2 to HA. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick stretch. And we're gonna go ahead and apply linear fit to O3. And then we'll do a quick stretch. Now, what we're gonna do from here is we're going to combine these images. We'll go to process all processes. We're gonna come down to channel combination. And we're gonna do a quick SHO palette. So for red, we're gonna assign S2. For green, we're gonna assign HA, no crop. And for blue, we're gonna assign O3, no crop. So that's gonna be these three images off to the right. We'll go ahead and hit the circle. We'll reset channel combination and exit out. And I'm just gonna name this no crop. We'll minimize and put it off to the side. Now what we need to do is crop our images off to the left and then we're gonna do the same thing. So let's go ahead, go to process all processes. We're gonna come down to dynamic crop. We'll draw a cropping block or a cropping box. And since S2 is our reference image, I'm gonna do this one last. I'm doing a pretty heavy crop just to ensure that any and all stacking artifacts are removed. Let's open up HA crop triangle, drag and drop, we'll minimize. O3 crop, triangle, drag and drop, we'll minimize. And now we're on our reference image where we'll hit the check mark. That's just letting us know that we're gonna lose our astrometric solution, that's fine. We'll hit yes. And now our three images here are cropped identical to each other. Let's exit out of dynamic crop. We'll go into process all processes and we're gonna to go to linear fit. Again, we're gonna choose our reference image to keep it the same. We're gonna use S2. We're gonna apply this to HA. We'll do a quick auto stretch and we'll apply the same linear fit to O3. We'll do a quick auto stretch We'll reset and exit out of linear fit. And now we're gonna combine these three images. Process all processes, channel combination. We'll do another SHO palette. So we're gonna assign S2 to red. And we're gonna assign uh, HA to uh, green. Only this time we're gonna do HA crop. And then for blue, we're gonna do O3 crop. So we have our SHO palette, uh, S2 to red, HA crop to green, and O3 crop to blue. And then we'll hit the circle. We'll name this crop. And now what we're gonna do I'm gonna see if I get that a little bit smaller. Uh, what we're gonna do here is do a quick auto stretch. Here's no crop and here's crop. Visually speaking, they look identical. 
I can't see any visual differences. Um, let's go ahead and clone that zoom. And everything here is looking good. Everything is looking identical. Um, we'll clone the zoom in that area. There's really no visual differences to the images. Not like uh, background extraction would do by having your um, stacking artifacts and bad edges present like we did here. All Linear Fit is really doing is normalizing the color channels. It's taking the mean value or the median value of your reference channel and really just changing how the channels uh, react to brightness. It's taking that reference channel mean or median value and applying it across the other channels that you apply linear fit to. What I mean by that, if we go to process all processes, let's go down to statistics and let's go ahead and go into crop and our mean value you can see is pretty even across the board between red, green, and blue. It's a lot different than what we saw in the beginning of this video. Let's go to um, no crop and we don't see much of a change in the statistics. So no crop red has a mean value of 62.045, crop red 62.197. Uh, we have no crop green, 60.192. Crop green is 60.266. And then uh, no crop blue, 61.312. And crop blue, 61.452. Visually, I don't see any differences. Statistically, I don't really see any differences. So what I can conclude from this is that it really doesn't matter if you crop your image prior to or after using linear fit. And realistic, realistically, all that linear fit is trying to do is just give you a more balanced set of color channels to work with. And what I like using it for is to just see the potential of my image as I'm processing it and just kind of get some things out of the way, such as a heavy green cast, heavy blue cast, so on and so forth. But I'm curious as to your experience. Have you experienced anything different by cropping uh, your images prior to or after linear fit? Do you see any differences in your data? Drop a comment below and let me know. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did and want to help support the channel, check out that join button and consider becoming a Hidden Light Photography member. There's lots of perks in it for you and your support helps me bring you more content. Also, that channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any upcoming content. Drop a comment in the comment section. When do you use linear fit and do you crop before or after? What were your results? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.